So this is Smokey. She's a Welsh Shetland cross in her late 20s. And we've owned her now for about 15 years. And over the 15 years, she's had short bouts of laminitis. Started off being in the summer and then got worse and worse and became even in the winter as well. And with management and um, restricted grazing, we were unable to keep them under control. Then about 12 months ago, she had a particularly bad bout and was in a, a lot of discomfort and was treated for that and was made more comfortable. And then after that, it was suggested that she had a test for Cushing's and insulin resistance. And since um, she's been treated, she's been like a new girl. We hoped that she might have a meaningful retirement so that she might be able to enjoy a bit of quiet retirement, but has actually come back into full work. She has a tablet every day. She's treated for her Cushing's and her insulin resistance. And with her daily tablet, she's back in full work, teaching children how to ride again and enjoying life. Since she's been on treatment and having her pill every day, she's had no bouts at all of laminitis, no soreness, no discomfort. She has regular special shoeing and obviously we're very strict about her diet, but she's remained perfectly comfortable and sound. We tested Smokey because she was having recurrent bouts of laminitis um, and uh, she's actually very typical of a lot of the chronic laminitics that we see and when they're having repeat episodes of laminitis, we want to get to the bottom of what the underlying cause is. Laminitis on its, on its own it is, is rarely an isolated event. With Cushing's disease, until it's diagnosed, um, then the horse is, is at a much greater risk of having uh, bouts of laminitis, even when the, the management and the diet is, is well controlled. Um, and equally with, with insulin resistance, uh, until it is diagnosed, then it's impossible for us to put the, the appropriate management and sometimes treatment to get on top of that, that problem as well. OK, we've got the blood results back from the, the bloods that we took yesterday and uh, the, the results are excellent, so really happy. Oh, good news, um, fantastic. The ACTH levels have stayed within the, the reference range for this time of year, so we'll stay on the one tablet okay. a day um, and we'll test again just going into the autumn when we see that sort of seasonal rise um, right. just to make sure we're on top of things. Yeah. Um, and then for the insulin, the insulin level is normal as well, so really pleased about that. Everything that you've been doing is has helped well, and again we'll brilliant. just stay vigilant and, and um, you know make sure that going into the spring we're restricting her grazing and her feed intake as, as you have been doing but but very happy she's she's doing excellent